I went ahead and switched over to water because, uh -huh. well, we'll just call this one Escape from Fuckface Island. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real though, um, about a month ago, give or take a couple weeks because it all just kind of blends together, um, I had a panic attack in the middle of the night and I was like, God damn, I'm not fucking doing anything with my life. So, uh, instead of filling out a FAFSA or fucking, uh, making plans to get my oil change, any of that shit, I, uh, sent a Facebook message to Jess and was like, you know what? I haven't done stand-up in a while and it'd be really cool if you had something I could elbow my way into. And she was nice enough to, uh, make it happen so I was on this, so let's give her a, ha a round of applause. Let's give uh, Darius Rucker a round of applause, too, because uh, he was pretty cool. I don't want to be with you. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, anyway, uh, I made some fucking stupid decisions in my life. Who else made stupid decisions in their life? Fuck, yeah, well, earlier today I got fucking really stoned. And I've got this uh, essential oils burner at my house. It's pretty fucking kick-ass. We put sweet orange oil and shit like that in it. And uh, we have this orange eucalyptus oil. No, lemon eucalyptus. Sorry, I'm not trying to stretch the truth here. And uh, I burned it. I was like, God, that fucking smells awesome. So I took a bubble bath and kind of hung out and like tugged on my nutsack skin for like 40 minutes. And... Uh, it didn't jerk off. I was just, you, know, you get hot water, you get summer nuts. You guys have done that before, right? You guys know what I'm talking about? Do you get summer labia? Is that a thing? <laughs> TT does. <laughs> Fucking wrap it around the remote control. Or whatever. Handlebars. Uh, anyway. Anyway. Uh, I got out of the shower and uh, I was like, God damn, I'm going to put some fucking deodorant and cologne on. And I was like, you know what? Fuck that. I'm way too punk rock for this American Crew cologne I paid eight bucks for. So, uh... Really? Yeah, really. So instead of that, I fucking, uh... I put on some uh, eucalyptus lemon oil and realized halfway down here I smell like I've been cleaning with fucking Pledge. So, uh... If anyone really wants to taste the rainbow, I got yellow down. You know what I'm saying? Is that cool? Can I talk about that? Is that weird? And on top of fucking stupid decisions, I've been married for 11 years. Yeah, let's hear it. Who's been married for 11 years? It was a pretty cool idea that she sucks. She doesn't like it. That's my wife, though. So, no, I'm joking. She's my best friend in the entire fucking world. But, I'm ready for a mistress taking applications right now. I've been really looking at how I need to fucking go about doing this, because, uh, I got some cool shit to put on my resume. <laughs> like, uh, just in case you don't know me, hang on one second. I got two speeds, and this is where I need your help. I got two speeds. I can either be Rad Dad, <laughs> or I can be, uh, Sad Dad. <laughs> Which one do you guys want? Rad Dad? Rad Dad? All right. Cool. I'm 31, married for 11 years. I'm on fucking 10 care. Anyone else on 10 care? Woo! Yeah! 10 care. Uh, got a pretty cool job. Got a 900 square foot house. Most of my shit's pretty cool. But uh, I don't really know if that's quite uh, getting a, like a, a Gumar type situation fucking uh, cool. So uh, I've been working on that. There's always that possibility of a three way too, but you know, that's, uh, that's here and there. We'll talk about that later. We're Troy Bungo. That's what I'm going to talk about it with. But uh, yeah, before, uh, before any of this is a reality, uh, we've uh, joked and spoke about me getting a fucking vasectomy. Anyone else here got a vasectomy? One dude. <laughs> right on. How old are you, man? You're like 25. How have you already got a vasectomy? Either way. He must have like... Uh, must really told him some shit about his life like I just have you. 
And so when you have a vasectomy, they don't put you to sleep. Did you guys know that? Yeah. They don't put you to sleep. They give you a fucking volume. So, like, uh, I've never done volume before. And I'm not really that sure, like, how certain drugs will fucking affect me. So uh, I'm really worried that, like, what if I don't try volume before I go have my vasectomy done? And, like, while I'm having my vasectomy, I get a fucking weird boner. <laughs> is that something that happens to people? <laughs> what if fucking volume is awesome? I've never fucking done any pills before. All I've ever done is smoke pot. So what if I've never fucking done Valium before? I take it, these dudes start fucking cutting into my nuts, and I get the hardest fucking boner I've ever got. You're awake during that shit. You're not asleep. Like, if you're asleep and you get a boner, you can be like, dude, I fucking, I was asleep. I don't, I don't know, man. Like, I don't like needles going into my fucking balls. I don't like that you pull my fucking... Voss tubes or whatever the fuck they are out and you're hitting them with that fucking laser gun like it's fucking Star Trek I don't know what you're fucking doing to my shit when I'm asleep but when I'm awake I'm sitting there and I'm like yo you guys like the fucking balls or <laughs> but guys I'm fucked up right now I can't even believe you're pulling my fucking tubes out of my nuts right now I'm at yo dude should I shave my fucking bush more like, what's, what's cool? Like, do I need, like, do I need, like, fucking, like, do I need football lawn? Or, like, does this need to, like, does this need to be the salt flats? I don't know what to do, and I'm fucking awkward, and I'm on volume, and there's a doctor asking me not to talk to him. <laughs> what? What the fuck happens then? You're, like, you're just sitting there, and you're just like, oh, man. So, uh, how long is this gonna take? You know, oh, you know, like, fucking 45 minutes to, like, seven hours. It depends on if, like, you ever loosen up and your fucking balls drop out of your stomach into your fucking summer sack that's, like, hanging down to the fucking floor because you're 35 years old. I got, like, a whole fucking hefty garbage bag worth of bag, and my nuts are, like, up here. That's what I'm worried about. So I'm like, do I get Valium before then? But then I'm like, what if Valium fucking rules? And I take it and it kicks fucking ass. It like fucking kicks tits. And I'm like taking it before I go and have my fucking vasectomy done. And it doesn't do anything. And then I feel everything. And I'm just really fucked up and laughing hysterically. And these dudes are fucking like pew 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 pew, pew at my fucking like ball fucking stuff. I'm a fucking, yeah. I'm not a nurse. I don't know what, I don't know what balls do. Other than like, other than like get really long in the fucking bathtub. <laughs> fucking getting that pit in the pendulum shit going on. My dick's not doing that, just my balls. You know what I'm saying? Sam knows what I'm saying. Terry knows what I'm saying. Uh, funny story, my wife has to go for radiation the same day that I have to fucking uh, get my vasectomy done, so that's pretty cool. So on the way home, I'm gonna be laid out with my fucking balls on fire. And then I have to be six feet away from her while she drives us back from Knoxville. Go Vols. There's no more water in that. What the fuck am I doing? Uh, yeah. Go Vols. You know what we drive? A Nissan Versa. Get six feet away from anything in the Nissan Versa. I'm just going to hang my fucking swollen, gross purple ball bag out of the back window of it and let it just fucking... While I'm going down the road, I'll be on so much fucking volume and more tab, I won't even feel it. People will be like, God damn, what is that? I'm like, it's a fucking rebel flag baby window. I was fucking born in hell and raised in jail. That's what my nuts are gonna fucking do. I can just keep doing that. So. After you get a vasectomy, you have to jerk off 18 times. That's like two days for me. You have to jerk off 18 times, and then on the 18th time, save it. I think that's bullshit. I think there's someone out there that, like, fucking is, like, really getting their rocks on the fact that they're like, yeah, he's going to go home in that jock strap. And on the third day... He's gonna come out of that tomb and he's gonna start beating his fucking dick like it owes him money. 
I'd like to thank the Lord Jesus Christ for allowing these fucking urologists to have the power to make me not be able to have kids anymore. Because I'm really good at pulling out, but twice I have it, and I have two fucking kids. So my sperms, my sperms are made out of fucking platinum. My sperms are devil without a cause. They're going platinum. <laughs> and uh, my goal for 2016, does anyone have any goals for 2016? I got goals for 2016, and that's for at least one time in 2016, I'm going to go into Walgreens and buy two Plan Bs <laughs> at the same fucking time. Because, like, I know there's a double standard, and that fucking sucks. It sucks worse than anything in the world. Because, ladies, if you go in and buy a Plan B, you've got to kind of timidly be like, yo, I got to, I'm going to get one of those Plan Bs. When I go in, I'm like, oh, they call me Cowboy, I'm a singer in black. I'm like, give me one of those motherfucking plan B's. I didn't pull out of nothing. Oh. Oh. I fucking DMX them, like handing them to me. I'm like, oh. That's right. Uh huh. But they don't hear me though. And then they hand me that plan B, and I hand them 60 bucks and I leave. But it's not like that for you all. And that's a fucking bummer. Thank you guys so much. I'm Jake Moore. I got, listen, I got fucking coke to smoke and butts to stuff. I'll see you fucking idiots later.